Another important aspect of the books of J.R.R. Tolkien is the attention paid to weaponry and armor. The game designers felt it was important to recreate that same degree of attention when creating the weapons used in the game. Another huge part of the assets that we have to create for the game is equipment. You know, one of the really exciting things to players is to differentiate themselves from other players, right? What makes me unique in the world is what makes it fun for me to distinguish myself from everybody else. Another part of it is, how does my avatar look? And that's influenced a lot by the armor that I wear, the equipment that I wield. And so there's a prideful aesthetic version to all the equipment that I acquire, as well as what's going to make me stronger and cooler. So we have literally thousands of items that we've created, tons and tons of armor sets, and all of this had to be influenced by the lore. You know, there's different classes of armor, um, not just in terms of gameplay, but also in terms of aesthetics, that there is armor that exists in Middle-earth that is old, um, western s armor that was built in the Second Age where men were better craftsmen than they are now. But, you know, that is fancy, fancy stuff that you might have gotten a hold of because you found it, not because someone's actually building it for you. So it's slightly older looking. There's armor that was crafted by the dwarves in their heyday. It's dwarven crafted. It's not only for dwarves. Anybody can wear it. There's armor that was crafted by the elves in their heyday. This is all armor that we know how it got here. And then from that, we know what the style needs to be, how they should look, making them look as beautiful as possible, and then adding on top of that, how do we make them as variable as possible? So we work some technology into it so that we can actually dye certain portions of the armor, different colors to give it variety, to give it more interest. I've designed a lot of different armors and clothing that will definitely allow a character to feel very, very individual in the game and feel very distinct and separate in design and feeling from all the other characters that they, they come in contact with. And we're constantly working on ways to improve that through dye mapping, which is basically being able to change the color of your armor. And that adds another area to distinguish your armor against someone else's armor. So, you might be the guy that has the full red suit of armor where the other guy is like a mixture of green and blue. We have a wide variety of weapons uh, that we allow players to use in Lord of the Rings Online. Of course, we try to use as many examples from the books as we can. So we have a variety of weapons that were present in medieval uh, Northern Europe, which was the inspiration for a lot of Tolkien's work. So you see a lot of swords, one and two-handed axes, which of course are favored of the dwarves. Bows play a significant part in Tolkien's mythology. One of the lesser known facts is that a lot of hobbits were actually very good archers, so spears, halberds, maces and clubs. It's one of the things we try to do on the game system side is to make sure that each of those weapons has a distinctive playstyle associated with them. They're big, they're small, they're, um, some of them are very ornate, some of them are very simple and crafted simply. It really depends on what level you're playing at. So they're intended to be very detailed and realistic looking. We don't have a lot of weapons that are just crazy, out there, unbelievable. It's meant to be a weapon that feels like it's something you could actually use. Which isn't to say we don't have lots of really big hatchets and axes and things that, you know, look um, disproportionately large to the person that's carrying them. We just assume that dwarves and people in Middle Earth are extra heroic and can carry things that are really big like that. There are uh, also magical weapons in the game, which are really exciting in, in, in a couple of ways. Magical in that they, they resist certain types of attacks. Also magical in that they have detect and other types of things on them. Very similar to you know, Bilbo's sting, which can detect the presence of orcs. So those are very cool. Everybody likes magical weapons. Ultimately, this is a fantasy world, so uh, we don't have any historical records of what a weapon that looks like if it's been forged by a dwarf or an elf. And in those cases, we get to we take a little bit of uh, fantastic license uh, to create some really spectacular looking weapons. Middle Earth is filled with legendary weapons and armor of great power. The heroes of the Lord of the Rings Online will have the chance to wield those that are the equal of Glomdring, Unreal, and Sting.